Good morning, fourth grade scientists, and happy Friday. Um, I am here to just drop a quick video to wrap up our week for um, magnetic forces and wanted to go over some final talking points. Um, and just to clear up some of the questions from yesterday that you guys um, answered, a lot of you did pretty well, um, but I just wanted to make sure that we had a complete understanding. I know magnetic forces was really hard to go over this week because it wasn't as hands-on as we've been, but um, I will continue to try and make science fun for us virtually. So our goal today, um, your goal by the end of today is to practice being a scientist and to observe the interaction between the balloon and the plastic bag, which is the optional science experiment for today, um, and to recognize that an unseen force exists between the two objects. So it's just like the one that we watched in the video. Um, and you should be able to explain that static elect electric charges repel and opposite charges attract. So those are, those are the things that you should be gaining from that experiment today if you decide to choose. Um, it is fairly simple and you m possibly have all of the things that you need in order to do it. Um, again, just make sure that you have your parents' permission. Um, so from yesterday, um, our first question was, if magnetic fields are invisible, how do we know they are there? Okay, so we know they're there because magnets push and pull magnetic materials. We can also visualize magnetic fields using certain video materials such as iron fillings or um, the ferrofluid that we saw in the video. Um, and remember that compasses are what helps people when they are lost or they're looking to find their way. Um, and a compass uses the earth as a magnet in order to find our way. Um, so that's kind of how that works. So I have this picture here kind of describing that magnetic field. So it says if a magnet can move freely, it will turn so that its north pole points towards earth's north magnetic pole. So that compass that I was just talking about. Um, the second question, is an aluminum can magnetic or non-magnetic? Why or why not? Okay, it is not attracted to a magnetic. Aluminum can is not. Um, you saw this during the video when they did the MagnaBoard investigation, um, and only certain types of metal are attracted to a magnet, and we talked about those as well. It was the iron, nickel, and cobalt. Next, um, it says, how are magnetic forces and distance from an object related? So the closer the magnet is to an object, obviously the stronger force. So if you look at my pictures here, um, the paper clip is obviously outside of that magnet's magnetic field, so it's not attracting it. But the closer that it is, the stronger the force, and it's now in that magnetic field, making it able to move without having to touch it. How can a nail become an electromag electromagnet and magnetically attract paper clips? So with this, you can make an electromagnet using a battery um, and taking a iron nail and wrapping it in that wire. Um, but it doesn't work unless you have that electricity. Um, so when the electricity stops flowing, that's when the magnetic field disappears and the nail is no longer magnetized, okay? This is also called a temporary magnet. So it's not just gonna work. It has to have the electricity of it. Um, do the balloon and plastic bag used in the levitation device have the same or opposite charges? Okay, they had um, the same charges, which means they repelled each other. That's our evidence. Um, so we know they repelled um, because they had the same charges. Um, some problems that can be solved with magnets. Um, holding those objects to our refrigerator. We wouldn't be able to hang up your um, artwork or um, good notes from teachers or pictures on your um, fridge if we didn't have magnets. Um, and it also does not leave marks, so that's nice as well. Um, you wouldn't be able to pick up small metal objects off the floor easily. It's great to just grab a magnet. I do that a lot when um, i taking off the bulletin board and I have the staples. I just sweep that around the ground and pick up all those staples that I just knocked on the floor. Um, compasses can solve some problems if you're lost. Um, magnets are also used to separate metal items from paper recycling. So um, there are jobs where people are having to separate those different things. Um, and then some power cords use magnets to attach the device they are charging. So my phone every night I sit it on a 
um, device and it's like a magnet. Um, same with my watch. My watch is like a magnet to the, its charger. Um, so those are just kind of some of the things that we are using nowadays to think more outside of um, just those regular bar magnets you see. I mean, my phone charger is a magnet. My watch charger is a magnet now. Um, how does static electricity push and pull things from a distance? So when two objects have the same electric charge, they push apart. And then when they have opposite, they're pulled together. So same, they're repelling, opposite, they attract. Your task for today. Your first task today is to complete the magnetism exit ticket on class kick to wrap up our thinking. Um, and then I wanna have you post that onto Seesaw. And then your second task is for you to play the online quizzes game over the magnetism information that you've learned this week. Um, send me your score and post it to Seesaw. Um, Mrs. Green and I are going to come out with some exciting new things, and this is going to be one of the challenges where you can earn a badge. So stay tuned later to figure out what these badges are. Um, and then lastly, this task is obviously optional. Um, it is in the den. It is the experiment from our video. Um, if you try it, send me a video, send me a picture. Um, just please make sure that you have your parents' permission um, or their help before you are doing this. Um, it, it's just an option if you're wanting to be creative and more hands-on. Um, and then there are also some books on Epic. If you just type in magnets, they also have some more information if you're still wanting to know um, some more information about it. Um, you can get on Epic and read those. They also have a lot of books that have other magnet experiments in case you have type different materials that you can use and do some other experiments. So if you do any other experiments, send me a video, send me a picture, um, and have fun with it. All right, friends, happy Friday, and I will see you on Seesaw.